Gracias. Hey, my father's looking for somebody to clean the pool. Piscina, swimming pool. Hard pressed in the heartland, Peter Rackland. Between the devil and the deep blue sea, Marcus Redeker. Going boating? Where the fuck have you been, frat boy? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get an education on the sly? Yeah, he steals books for the donut lady. Not Marta. She's way too old. Yeah, it's sad. Fuck you, trailer trash. When'd you last have a date that wasn't your hand? Like, what? <laughs> Damn, I missed you boys. Come on, let's get some juice. I good worker. Hey, what are you, deaf son? I said no work. Nada. Adios. Please, give me work. Please. Hey, I... buddy, did you hear the man? He said there's no work. <clears throat> ah, shit. Call the cops. No, I'll take care of it. <clears throat> Listen, Chico. You leave her, we're calling the cops. Policia? Policia? <laughs> we're over the dogs, bro. Fucking <clears throat> taco, man. <clears throat> Chiquita, come sit on my banana. Might as well, might as well, since I've already had your mama. Man, man, it's better head it back to the fence. Put the, put the brights on, put the brights on, no, 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 no. Fucking beaner. Oh, look at him, man. 
David. Shit! Truck, come back! Come back to the Marlboro Land! Come on in! Disneyland is just a hop away! You can have it all! Eat all you can! A Walmart for every family! USA! All the way! USA! All the way! Calling Officer Sherrods, calling Officer Sherrods. This is the war boys. See, we got a whole herd stateside. Just go to Dead Man's Canyon, get them while they're hot. Let's go track them. What? No, no way. David, David, stop fucking around. Come on. That's asking for trouble, man. No. Pussies. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Buenos días, María. Uy, hace frío. Ay, va a calentar. Sí. Ay, ¿cuándo van a cruzar? Esta noche o mañana más tardar. Mira. Ay, son parecidos. Sí, son gemelos. Ah. Ya les aseguré un viaje a Chicago. Ah. Hay un trabajo en un matadero en Iowa. Storm Lake, Iowa. ¿Quién va a vivir ahí con tanto frío? ¿Qué hace? Van a necesitar calzones de lana si querrán tener hijos. <risa> ¿Y tú? ¿Mm? Ya no estás tan jovencita, Martita. ¿Qué va? No ¿Ah? me estoy poniendo más joven, pero mis pretendientes sí. Ah. Hay un muchacho bien lindo que me anda persiguiendo, pero pues, es imposible. ¿Imposible? ¿Por qué? Pues porque no tengo ningún interés. Además, es un bebé. Sería unas altacunas. <risa> en mis tiempos. <risa> Si te contara, te ibas a poner verde de envidia. Mira.
You still got a pool? Shorts are in the top right drawer. Nature calls. says the bike's her own, but it can't be. It's a thousand dollar bike. Look, I borrowed the bike, but the keep's mine. You're in trouble, miss. I am trouble, mister. Okay, let's say three o'clock. And hey, look, I'm gonna have to postpone that trip to Houston. Yeah? My son's in town. Oh, I know, I know, but it'll wait. They need me. Well, it's good to see you boys again. Still working weekends at the garage, Gregorio? Ah, uh, that's me. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking of helping my dad out with his business. Uh, Maria, I'll have those eggs now, por favor. And you, Greg? Well, I'm still at the library, Mr. Welch. But I'm thinking of taking some night classes. Good for you. We still miss your father. He was one of our finest on the Border Patrol. Boys, sorry to say, but I've got to steal David away for a couple of hours this afternoon. Father and son, you know, heart to heart. We missed him, didn't we, George? But die, Gregorio. He begged to fly home weekend after weekend. I said, no, wait till spring break and show them what you're made of. And they will show you the... the ladder to the top. Dan. My son needs his studies and his sports. And what with his looks, God knows how much sex. Dad, they're not interested. But they are. Aren't you, boys? Maria, some more syrup for George here. And Greg, here, have another donut. Look at him, boys. My son, straight A's. Sports trophies up the yin-yang. Landed at the fifth best school in the nation. And now? You're boring them, Dad. Well, then entertain us, my son. Tell us what's new. Quit. I got a call from the dean last night. What do you suppose he had to tell me? Christ. <laughs> we must bring our entertainment to a close. David, noon at my office. It's good to see you, boys. It's the listo, Manuel? Un momentito, señor David. What's your dad so pissed about? Yeah, you and me, Greg. Things were trash. Nah, nothing to do with you. I'm not on break from school. I was suspended. What? You cut classes? I went to all my classes and got naked. Bullshit! Sitting in class one day, I just felt constricted, so I took oh. my clothes off piece by piece. I left my socks on, though. Sat the entire way through my first class bare-assed. <laughs> In the second class, someone objected. It was a political science class. That is fucked up, Whoa, man. What are you going to do? <laughs> what gets me is how long it took anyone to object. Nobody asked me what the hell I was doing. They just pretended I was dressed. Estoy listo, señor David. Okay. okay. Why'd you do it? They were asleep. Fucking zombies. They needed a wake-up call. Jesus, you put your nuts on this play for the whole world to see. No way! I was tired of waking up every morning thinking, what the fuck am I doing here? So I shed my skin and headed home. Adios, Duke! This is where I want to be. We love you too, buddy. 
Gracias, Manuel. How you doing, David? You back for spring break? Thought I should check in on my boys. I'll give your father my regards. Return of the conquering hero, eh? We missed you. George says he can at least write a postcard, and I say you got hands, write him yourself. But no. Hey, Cactus. You look good on that bike. George! George! Sweetheart, I need your help a minute. Cortez Taxi Service. Always running. Saw it in a film. Gotta go, Mr. Beast. Take this and get rid of it. Thanks, boys. I don't know where she keeps finding them. I brought you another book. Griffiths, these are the times. Yeah, these are the times. How about tonight? What exactly is your criteria for choosing my books? <laughs> what I was on the return pile. You know, I'm risking jail stealing these books for you. You owe me a date. Not tonight. Necesito trabajar. Tomorrow night? No. Tengo un montón de libros para leer. Ay, que tu mamá salió de la cárcel. I know what happened. Yeah. Everyone knows what happened. You know her? No, pero a veces ayuda a la gente a conseguir papeles. So, we got a date tomorrow or what? Vete. Me distraes. Well, to start, I guess. You got a sweetheart up at Duke? Someone special? I don't let any of them get too special. <laughs> Things okay. You seem kind of jumpy. Here, have my sandwich. I'm not hungry. You lost weight. Dad, what's the problem? Tell it to me straight. Debts, Davy. Lean and mean times. It's always something. So, you gotta take risks, and when you do, everybody gets a little jumpy. No, well, but you stick with it. Competition strangles the best of us. It's all a question of knowing how far you can bend the rules of the game. Tell me, Dad. You know you can trust me. My trucks carry all sorts these days. And so you have to make arrangements with the Border Patrol. Jesus, Dad. Drugs? Televisions. Designer jeans. Black market? I knew it. It's called the free market. But my concern is your future, not mine. Listen, Dad. I got this all figured out. I quit school. I stay here with you. It'll be like you used to say after Mom died. It's just you and me now, and we got to stick together. And we can do that here, working side by side. Go on. I'm a natural when it comes to business. I don't need a degree in law. I got everything I need right here. We'll take over, you and me. Are you finished? No. Dad, remember? <whistles> it's the Wild West out there, and we can tame it. You're going back to school. No, Dad, How listen. you think I felt when that dean called me? And why did you pull such a pathetic stunt? For attention? Were you feeling lonesome? Did you need a hug? You have no idea. You think I didn't try to fit in, huh? You think I didn't try to make it work? The only place that I'm happy is here with you. I'm not going back. I love you. But you are going back to school, and you're going to be the best damn lawyer in this state. Things are going to work out just like we planned. Fuck! 
Fuck him! Fuck him! Fuck! Fuck! Would you two like to make some serious money? How? TVs. Truckload. Easy steal, risk free. For my dad. That's low. I'm just like scraping the bottom of the barrel. I'm in. No, I'm doing a parent like that. It's like it's like original sin. So he won't miss them. They're black market from Mexico. Who's gonna complain? And no one will suspect us. I'm in. You already said that. Give me back my hat. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm not wasting myself. Georgie, Georgie, put me back. Shit. Kiss the girls in me, don't cry. Okay, how much are we talking? A thousand. Why are you doing this to your dad? Because it's a thrill. And we need a thrill. Fuck it. Fuck it. Come on, David, don't bullshit me. What the hell's with you? You talk to me, and I'll hit you. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's okay, I guess. I missed you. Yeah. This used to be a frontier out here. Kill or be killed, be a slave or be free. And now what are the choices that matter? Paper, plastic, lubricated, rib, regular, decaf, eat in, take out, pay to go, or contract, to rent or to buy. Let's do it! She's new. Where is everybody? They all hit the canteen before it closes at 10.30. It's cool. I've done my homework. Does anyone else have a sense of doom? Greg? Bolt cutters are yours. Right, boss. Again, change your driver, tell a few jokes that leak. Okay, got about three minutes. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. 
Are you sure it's gonna be okay here? Scrapyard will think it's the army. The army will think it's a scrapyard. We need to find someone to sell them to. And your dad won't report it, right? No way. Oh man, is he gonna be pissed? <laughs> so when do we sell them? When do we sell them? Uh, we'll pick up a load in a few days. We need to make some inquiries, right, George? Mm -hmm. How much time you need? Two, three days at the most. And I'm just a guy. Fuck it. Thank you. Want to lose old fashioned? One sugar donut? And six donut holes. Make it quick. Got a long ride ahead of you, partner. Long enough. You heading for the border? You with the law? Whose law? Roger. Slater. Morning. Roger, listen. Bad news. We had a theft last night. Yeah. Fully loaded. Of course I do. That's not it. I didn't want to wake you. Trust me, I'm taking care of this. Yeah. I'm gonna send them out to find the usual suspects. Yeah, exactly, relax. Relax, we'll find it. I'll call you back. Didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, it looks that way. Hey, 
Hey, David, you up for a swim? I don't think so. Well, I'll leave you alone then. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Zero out of ten for that dive. What's up, Dad? One of our trucks was stolen last night. Shit. Can we get it back? Unlikely. Our concern now is to find out who took it and keep a lid on this. This is a well-planned operation. Professionals? Yeah. But we've got our own professionals who will find them. In the meantime, you just get your head ready to get back to your education. I'm gonna fuck whoever did this. None of your fucking business. <coughs> Fuck! Shit, don't move. Did they hurt you? Look, I had a hard knee. I don't look like an illegal, do I? Hey, just got mugged. I think I'm owed something nice. Nourishing. Nourishing? You need to teach me how to make donuts. Howdy. Hi, honey. Where's Kat? She went to get you donuts. Hey. Uh, on the nail, please. Old Tuber Tyler said he saw you the other night. Oh, yeah? Still out with the border patrol? I would rather you not do your partying on the border. We're not partying out there, Mom. Keeping an eye out for border bunnies. Patrol's not worth shit without us. Hey, I will not have that kind of trash talk in this family. Sorry, Mom. Yo trabajo para él. Ese es mi hermano, pero es gringo. He's okay though. When I was five, I used to sit on his shoulders and say jumps on his head. We used to be friends, but now I'm just a beaner to him. ¿Y quiénes son tus papás? The ones I have here I love, but the others I don't know about. Have you given up a daughter? Yo? No, hombre, ¿cómo? Maybe you forgot. Pero como una madre se va a olvidar de su hija? Ah, pero tengo dos sobrinos. Mi Toñito y mi Jaimito. Y les voy a comprar unos calzones de lana largos. Así que me voy. Me too. I have to get these donuts to my brother. Cuídate mucho, mijita. Not so thick, just half an inch. 
Que nunca hablas español. How come you don't have a boyfriend? Porque me gustan las cosas simples. Now, if I make the perfect donut, will you go out with me? Eres un bebito. Acabas de empezar a caminar. I like older women. Older women. The way you say it, it sounds like you're tired. Show me. Acabo de hacer. Now those are perfect donuts. So, what time should I pick you up? I love her. There's a jungle out there. I want to join my the detour to keep switches away. The brothers of Mexico, of USA, and of other countries, some of which have spoken of a wall of shame. It's a contradiction to the Statue of Liberty in New York, a declaration of hatred towards Latin America. Oof. Estas caliente como un panqueque. ¿Quieres una tucha? Mom, I want a peace mission to the devil himself. <laughs> La tucha puede esperar. Ugh, my devil's out back. Chew them up, especially for me. I got them for you. A detour. Have you seen your pillow? Who cares about my pillow? Who cares? Who cares? Shit, you know what? When you came to us as a baby, I used to spit on your head every time I walked by your cradle because I knew how you'd turn out. You liar. Yo sé que tú haces en el baño y le dije a mamá. Speak English. Jesus. I'm just waiting for the day you disappear on one of your detours so I can have some peace. Why don't you move out like a real adult and give me some air to breathe? It's an embarrassment to be your sister. Look at your skin. You're not my sister. Yeah, I yeah. am.
Or two, sir. Anywhere but here. Did it ever bother you and Mom when you adopted her? <laughs> Never. She's not one of us. What bothers me is what's bothering you. I'm just a regular shit. <sighs> hey, give me a smoke, will you? Me and David, we're gonna make some money. And we're gonna travel. Sorry, I got no cash. Welch, your name is Welch? Yep, that's me. Slater Welch? My father. I don't want your money. What? You're not welcome here. Please leave. Uh, wait a minute. I, I no, don't... No, tell your father his business stinks. I'll have no part of it. Go. I have to meet George and David later on at the old train depot. You ever been there? Well, we used to hang there when we were kids. You should come. Okay, but I gotta stop by the garage first and check a link. This is a date, right? Don't count on it. Wear that t-shirt back in tenth grade. Look cool on you then. Thanks. Looks cool on you now. He's pretty pissed about the truck. I thought he'd just write it off. I said he'd be pissed. <laughs> He's pissed. Well, I'm a thief. You're a thief. We're feeling pretty good. Right? So you got a girl with the duck. Girl up and duck the fuck, you mean? No time. Well, I'm gonna introduce you to some of the ladies. And I'll show you how to spell relief. ¿Qué te parece, Silvio? ¿Crees que puedas hacerlo para esta noche? Cualquier cosa para Marta. Pero unos tacos y un refresco por el altar al asunto. <laughs> Ahorita salen los tacos y una cerveza. Keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't steal any. You know of anyone who could use some TVs? TVs? My abuela still got an old black and white. My little girl wants one in her room. How many you got? A truck load. Yeah. Truck load, huh? 
Do I look like someone who could use a truckload? I'm dirty because I'm a mechanic, not a criminal. Besides, nothing good on TV and air, right? What about a legit ID? Got a driver's license? I'll give you $40. No, thank you. Why not, man? You can, you can get another one. I thought you weren't a criminal. Helping poor folks get a job, criminal? I'm not giving my ID to some illegal. Why? Is you legal? I was born this side of the border. Really? Which border? What if I just stepped across your border like it wasn't even there? Amas cruzamos la frontera. La frontera nos cruzó a nosotros. I'll give you a dollar for a smile. No, maybe a quarter. Can I kiss you? No. You want to hear something funny? I'm still a virgin. What? You have to say it again. I'm a virgin. Okay? Wow. But hey, I mean, I don't need a map. I just never did the, you know, all the way. But I'm a fast learner. Give you your best shot, trailer trash. I'm so jealous. My daddy can't buy me a new truck. Nope. He'll just get his old taxi and drive in circles forever. You know, I didn't miss you, frat boy. Old high school game. See who flinches first. <laughs> Greg always lost. <laughs> Want to get something to eat? Ugh. How about some dogs? So, all this time, you've been the donut lady. Now, here you are. Do you mean the nomination landmark from the neighborhood with surprise, surprise, a little life still left in her? Or that a monastic statue that miraculously comes alive in all her fierce beauty? <laughs> Any other choices? Have some respect, frat boy. Yeah, I can take care of myself. Hey, Gregorio. Did you hear about those uh, the six greasers who fell asleep on the railroad tracks? There are strips of bacon by the morning. George, you're ruining my appetite. Well, I'm the six less of Greg's compadres over here to steal my job. Job. You don't do beaner jobs. The secret. Oh, wow, what a date. Gray school fighting and trashing beaners at the same time. How do you boys do it? We ain't pleased, baby. Didn't Greg tell you? We're the war boys. Back in high school, we used to have lots of chicks like you running scared. How frightening. This little wetback is just shivering in her slippers. An Aztec beauty, and she's shivering in her slippers. 
cheeks and Aztec beauty slippers and slippers cheeks and Aztec beauty and she's shivering in her slippers. Cabachos de mierda. ¿Y tú? Una pérdida de tiempo, stupid gringos. All of you. I was always alone in high school. See, um, most of the kids in my class were white. Then one of them asked me to join the War Boys. You know, it was one of those Chase the Beaners high school club. Sometimes we'd spot an illegal and call the Border Patrol. Sometimes we chase them in our cars. Mostly we drove around and made noise. We never hurt anybody. And everyone just drove around. People got hurt. Some people got killed. Not by us. When they asked you to join the war boys, did you think you were white too? I was ready to be anything they wanted me to be. And now, what do you want to be? With you. And what would you do to be with me? Anything. I don't believe you. Try me. Okay. Show me that you want me. How? Come. Come where? Just come. Right here. Now. You're kidding. It's payback for your little stump back there. Wait. All right, well, you know, I'm going home. Wait, wait, sit down. Sit, sit down. No, wait, wait. Sit, sit. sit down, sit down. cerca de Acapulco. Cuando tenía cuatro años tratamos de cruzar la frontera. No, 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 just... De mi nombre. Marta. Marta. Otra vez. Marta.
else do you want me to do? We're sorry. Yeah. That was really obnoxious, okay? Well, look, we'll, look, we'll make it up to you, Marta. So, uh, so look, we're, uh, we're going boating. I don't think so. We're gonna, um... What do you mean, boating? Our lady, Marta Yassis. We'd like to talk to you alone. Who are you? You used to work for Welch Trucking. I was a temp driver for a lot of different companies, but that was a long time ago. What do you want with her? Stay out of it. Got a truck stolen. They're very upset. It's too bad for them. That's not my line of business. When we find out that you and your back friends and anything to do with this, it's gonna hurt. Comprende? Marta, um. I gotta go. I should go home. Wait a minute. Stay with me. I'm sorry. <whistles> Damn. This here is a pretty thorny mess. Get with those things. <laughs> the last one's in deep. Hmm. I think I can feel your breath on my ass. Is there a breath on my ass? I'm trying to get the thorns out. Will you shut up? Are you getting the thorns out of my ass or, you know, touching my ass? I'm touching your ass to get the thorns out. I just want to make sure the lines don't get crossed here. They got crossed some years ago. Once. And I hardly remember it. I remember everything. The only thing that felt better than you putting your hand on me is when I put my hand on you. Shut the fuck up. We're just kids. Yeah. Sure. 
You know where that line is now, don't you? You're damn right I do. So just to be certain, why don't you tell me where it is? Is it here? Unless it's different than me. Yep, just at that mark. So that means I could touch you here, right? All American, okay. Check. And here? David, I know who I am. But what if I crossed it? Touch you here. Anything you want. No, go to the garage. Our plan is fucked. What? Your dad has sent goons to find out who took the truck. They threatened Marta. What? Wait, 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 wait. What's Marta got to do with any of this? I, I know. They were at her place. You didn't tell Marta, did you? Hell no. Shit, man, this is serious. Drugs. Drugs, it's gotta be drugs. George is right. There's something else. This isn't about TVs. There is no way that they would get this hot over TVs. There's drugs in that truck. No TVs. My dad wouldn't lie to me. Wake up, idiots. We need to make an anonymous call and tell them where the truck is. Get out. No, no fucking way. We didn't do all this for nothing. Okay, okay. We wait till tomorrow. When it's light, less conspicuous. We search the truck, take what we can carry, leave the rest. Then we make the call. If they get 90% of their shit back, they're going to be happy. Look, George is right. We can't walk out of this empty-handed. It's gonna be all right. So will Martha. Hey, Greg, wait up. Sure. You going home? And if you let me hold you tight, I'll make every hour will right, darling. Take a step, guess what, I'll take one too To, to find, find you, you, I've got to close my eyes To find you, I've got to break the lie Touch my face, only you know There's still a place where I'm alive Where I'm alive I'm alive. That's with you. That's with you. That's with you.
I've been sitting there all night, not moving. Are you dead or something? Come here a minute. Well, kid, I gotta ask you something. If you got something to ask, ask your sister. She's sitting right next to me. Yeah. I guess she is. Far away. Uh, something happened to me last night. It's like I was walking down a street that I knew real well, and I didn't even have to look where I was going. And all of a sudden, I found myself somewhere I had never been before. And I felt like I'd been there my whole life. I wasn't afraid anymore. What happened when you got there? Well, I, uh, I kissed my best friend, David. On the mouth. <laughs> You know, the way mom and dad do sometimes. How come you don't like me? Not that I don't like you, Kat. It's just that you're, uh... You're different. For me, that's all. Is that a bad thing? No. I guess it's not. No. Are you gonna kiss David again? I don't know. Maybe. What would, you, what would you think about having a brother like that? Marta. Marta. You all right? Look, if this is about last night... It has nothing to do with you. you know, this is all shit. Fantasma. The truck those guys are looking for. We stole it. What? Welch's Trucking Company. It's David's dad. <sighs> Jesus Christ. But but I want you to know we're gonna return it. We're gonna bring it back. But esos pendejos me sospechan. It'll be all right. We're gonna take care of it. What's in the truck? Black market stuff. Televisions. I, I don't know. You don't know anything. We wanted to make some cash. I'm sorry you got involved. <laughs> Lo vamos a devolver. ¿Tú crees que es algún tipo de juego? No tienes ni idea con quién estás jodiendo. Y ustedes tres. 
Qué pendejada otra operación War Boys, ¿no? Trust me. We'll fix it. Ladrón. We're gonna take care of it today. High school punk. I promise. Idiota. Stop worrying. Pendejo. I'm sorry. Sorry. Turn over. Frat boy. Yes. Tranquilo. It's okay. Wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
No! I'm not going to help you! Fuck! You're spending a little too much time with that kid. You can do better than that. You're David Welch. Yeah, I'm David Welch. But Welch is a dirty word to some around here. I got my credit card thrown in my face yesterday. Why is that? We all make enemies in this business. What have you done? What have I done? Well, paid the mortgage. Sent you to an expensive university. Bought you a new truck. Used to tell each other everything. Yeah. There was a time when we did. No secrets. What changed between us? Why don't you go on and give George a ride home now? Dad, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, please don't. Is this that conversation where the son says to the father, guess what, Dad, I'm a fag? Well, if that's what you want, it's not a problem for me. But you could at least fuck somebody who's got some class. George is a dead end. What could he ever do for you? George knows who I am. Do you know what that feels like? To have somebody look at you and know who you are and what you want? It's like waking up over and over again. And ever since Mom died, you've pushed me aside. I've never pushed you aside. I've pushed you to the top. I don't want you to be like me, Dave. See, it would have been enough to be like you. Well, I want you to be better than me. See, that's the difference. I've always loved you just as you are. And you've only fucking loved me for how you want me to be. No, I understand perfectly, Roger. No, of course. Of course. You got papers on all the goods in the truck? Yeah, I got paperwork there on the desk. For 500 boxes of children's toys. Very cute. It's so cheap in Mexico. These are routine questions for a theft, Mr. Welch. I'm just doing my job. Well, then, do your job, Wayne, and watch my back. Maybe if you'd done a little better job watching my back, we wouldn't have this god-awful fuck-up right now! Shit. I thought you said he was coming alone. What the hell did you bring her for? Because I know what assholes you are. Fuck you. Hey. Go home. We can take care of this. You can take care of this, chinga little mother. Have you ever seen how white a kneecap is when it breaks the skin? I have. And that's just for starters. These people will hurt you. Bullshit. Do you even know what's in there? Yeah. Drugs and TVs. We're taking some of both, and then we're going to split. I had a friend who helped himself when no one was looking. And after they crippled him, they put a knife in his gut. Shut your mouth. My father's no killer. You don't know what he is. Fuck it. Fuck it. I am not leaving empty-handed. George, don't. Oh. 
Oh my god. What the fuck? Antonio. Ay, madre de Dios. You gotta leave. You gotta go now. Come on, Greg. I'm Nelly. Greg. No, I'm I'm staying. <laughs> I know. I know. We'll get the stuff, then drive the container out to the desert and dump it. No, I'll talk to the boys. I'll see they understand. Listen to me, Roger. I'm the one who's going to deal with this. Roger, I got enough on you. I warn you. You're, You're going to burn those panties? Well, I don't give a fuck about them right now. I'm going to get my son out of there. And no one else counts? What about those people? Oh, it's all just business to you? Oh, stop your moral bullshit, please. I'm the one who gets in the shitty jobs in the pack house in Iowa, and sometimes things go wrong. But you risk nothing. I risked everything that was important to me a long time ago. Do you really think you can get away with this? My, my Jaime, I'm, I'm my Toño, my muchachos, ellos estaban en esa troja, verdad? Don't burn them. What are we gonna do? Shut up, I'll figure something out. This was your father's cargo. Why didn't you know what was in there? How could I know? Over and over again, I asked him. He wouldn't tell me, he wouldn't let me in. He wouldn't no, but we killed them. I told you to shut up. Jesus, we killed them. We shut killed them. The they must have been shouting. Uh, shut up! They must have been shouting. It's tie like that. No one knew. We gotta bury them. They had families. They had names. Can you me? Can you me? Maria, ¿qué haces? Mi nombre no es María. María es el nombre que le dan a todas las sirvientas del vecindario. Es Jacinta, y Jacinta le va a quemar la casa a su patrón. Where's George? David, get in the car. Dad. Shut up, I know what happened. George, you two take his truck and follow me. What about the semi? They're going to burn the semi. We are going to clean up this mess. David, you've got to get in the car. Boys, get in the truck. We don't have much time. David. Who the fuck is that? Dad, you think I run this game on my own? Get in the car. David, what's going on? No. You can't burn them. Come on, get in the goddamn car. You can't just burn them! I planned it, Dad. It was me. I'm the one who planned the whole thing. I don't care. Just move it. No, no. We need to tell the cops. If he won't, I will. 
You're not getting away with this. Don't you dare threaten me, you son of a bitch. I'll put you in the truck with the rest of them. One less wet back to deal with. Jesus! Hey! Now get in the car! Come on, give me the gun. No secrets, right, Dad? No secrets between us? You son of a bitch. If you trusted me, if you told me the truth, stop! Stay where you are, god damn it! We killed them. We fucking killed them. Please, Davy. Please. David! Fuck! Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. David! David! Get the fuck away from me! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm so sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? Is, is that what you're gonna say to those dead fucks? Well, you know what I am? I'm one of them. Put the gun down! Put the gun down or I shoot! I'm one of them now! Come on! Come on! Put the gun down or I shoot! Fuck you! Come on! Come on! You put the gun down or I shoot! Ahora soy uno de esos muertos. Down here! 